Hi, and thank you for the question. So uh, here's the equation that we were given, 1.1 times 10 to the 22 uh, AG atoms times one mole of AG over 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and we are finding moles of AG. And when we set up the equation like this, our atom units uh, cancel out, and that will leave us with the number of moles. So what we then have is we multiply 1.1 times 10 to the power of 22 times 1. So we multiply across everything in the top. Uh, and then we divide by what's on the bottom, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. What I like to do then is I like to break this up. I like to take the 1.1 and divide by 6.022 and that's multiplied by 10 to the power of 22 divided by 10 to the power of 23. By splitting this up when you calculate it, uh, it's much, much easier to work with your calculator than trying to put it all into your calculator and then dividing by, by it all. So you can do it that way. What you get here then is 1.1 divided by 6.022 equals 0 0.1827 multiplied by 10 to the power of 22 divided by 10 to the power of 23, which is whenever you're dividing powers that have the same base, you just subtract 22, subtract 23. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to put that up here. What that then equals is 0 0.1827 times 10 and 22 minus 23 is negative 1. This is your answer. The only thing is that it's not in proper scientific notation. The reason why it's not proper is because there's a zero in front of this decimal place and in proper scientific notation you have to have a number that's greater than zero here. So what I like to do before I move this decimal over here a one is I like to, if I can, write this out uh, just as a, a regular number and not a scientific number. So 0 0.1827 times 10 to the negative 1 means that we need to move this over one more spot. So the actual answer is this, 0 0.01827. That's what 0 0.1827 times 10 to the negative 1 is equal to. But they want us to write it as uh, uh, in scientific notation, which means that we have to have a number that's greater than zero in this part. So what we're actually doing is dropping a decimal right here after the one. So 1 1.827 becomes our new number. But in order to make our answer equal this, we actually have to move the decimal, because it's now here, we have to move the decimal one, two places to the left in order for one, two, in order to make it equal to the actual answer. So that's why it becomes 1.827 times 10 to the negative two. All of these answers are the same. They are all correct they all equal the same number. The reason why they want us to answer it this way is because they want us to put it in proper scientific notation. And proper scientific notation means that you have to have a number greater than zero in front of the decimal. So the challenge here is being able to uh, convert from this to this to this and back and forth. So really understanding what this negative one power is in scientific notation. So I hope that clarifies for you the answer um, and thank you for your question. Bye for now.